Hello, in this video let's get acquainted with the schedule page. It answers three main questions. What users should work on next and how much it takes in their capacity? To avoid burnout, when a particular resource will be available for future projects? And what is the actual result versus the plan? The page shows the user timeline, all can be grouped by the list of members, projects and clients. And you can see different assignments created for your team. To create an assignment, click on this green plus button or choose the period in the user calendar. Here you can choose a project for your assignment and then even a particular task, but it's not mandatory. Then assign a person to work on it set its period, add total hours to spend, and put some comments if needed. The created assignment will appear on a user calendar. By the way, you can make assignments directly on your client, or leave this all these fields blank and create a kind of empty assignment. Maybe just given some context here not to forget about it. This is how this type will look on your calendar. When you make plans for the future and look at the member grouping, you will see how much time is booked on a user weekly capacity and what is still available for them. So it helps you to plan their workload better. The right side allows to navigate on this page and you can also zoom in, zoom out, apply different filters and open the page settings. Here you can decide what projects and clients should be included here as well as who from your team should be present on this page because not everyone may need to assign their hours. Additionally you can give different type of permissions to this page for example it can be full access or only the ability to manage your own assignments as well as just see the assignments of other people. That's all I wanted to share with you. If you still have questions about this page, feel free to contact us at ask at or click on the green question mark button to read other support materials.